Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to reciprocity theorem and this is the fifth question which we'll be discussing. So here we have again two circuits okay and the difference between them is the location of the voltage source, the single voltage source. So here we have this 40 volt voltage source present in the first branch and in this circuit we have it in the third branch. So in order to prove reciprocity theorem we have to find out the branch currents. So since, uh, since the shifting of the voltage source happened to the third branch we have to determine this current flowing through the 8 ohm resistance and then again here we have to find out this current and if these two current values are equal then reciprocity theorem is valid okay so let us do that so we'll be redrawing the circuit first focusing on the first figure okay Forty volt. Then we have four ohm. Then we have six ohm. Then we have five ohm and eight ohm. and then we have 7 ohm and 9 ohm so here we'll be using nodal analysis because uh, if we go the equivalent resistance way it will become a little bit tricky and mesh analysis also will be a little bit tricky because 3 mesh uh, equations then uh, the loop equations so it will be a little bit you know difficult to analyze so we'll go the nodal analysis way so let us assign node voltages v1 and v2 and let us assign currents okay let us assign currents let's say this current here is I, this current here is I1, okay, this current here is I2, this current here, let's call it I1 subscript 1 2, okay, I subscript 1 2, and this current here is I3, let's call it that. So, first will be applying KCL at node 1 with voltage V1. So KCL at node 1 that is I is equal to I1 plus I subscript 1 2 because I is approaching the node I1 and I12 are flowing away from the node. So here I is 40 minus V1 by 4, I1 is V1 by 6 and I12 is V1 minus V2 by 5, okay. That implies 40 by 4 is 10 minus v1 by 4 when it comes to the right hand side becomes v1 by 4 plus v1 by 6 plus v1 by 5 minus 
v2 by 5. So, here we will be solving it that implies 10 is equal to what is the common multiple uh, I think it is 60 yes 60 yes 60 that is common so here it is 15 v1 here it is 10 v1 here it is 12 v1 here it is again 12 v2 this is that implies 15 plus 10 20, 37 v1 minus 12 v2 is equal to 600 60 into 10 this is the first equation with respect to kcl applied to node 1 this is the first equation now the second node here kcl at the second node KCL at node 2 is I 1 2 is equal to I 2 plus I 3. Why? I 1 2 is flowing towards the node, I 2 and I 3 are flowing away from the node. Now, I 1 2 is V 1 minus V 2 by 5 equals to I 2 is v2 by 8 and i3 is v2 by 7 plus 9 which is 16 okay v2 by 16 okay so we'll be solving it that implies v1 by 5 minus v2 by 5 minus v2 by 8 minus v2 by 16 equals to 0 implies here the common will be I think 80 that will be the common okay 80 yes 80 so here it is 16 v1 minus 16 v2 minus 10 v2 minus 5 v2 equals to 0 that implies 16 v1 minus 31 v2 is equal to 0 this is equation 2 now we have to solve these two equations equation 1 and equation 2 so you can use the variable cancellation method or you can directly use scientific calculators go into equation mode put the values and you can find out v1 and v2 so when we put these values here okay in variable uh, in, in equation mode in the calculator or we solve it using a variable cancellation method we will get the values v1 as 19 Point four seven volt and V two as ten point zero five two this much ten point zero five is also sufficient that much volt. Now we are interested in finding out current I two. Okay, we are interested in finding out current I2, this current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor I2. I2 is V2 by 8. Okay, I2 is equal to V2 by 8 ohm, which is 10.052 volt by 8 ohm which is equal to 1.2565 this much ampere I2 is this much ok this we have calculated this is with respect to the 
first figure this now we have to move to the second figure use the same nodal analysis technique to find out this current okay so let us do that first we have to redraw the circuit redrawing the circuit with respect to the second figure the shifting of the voltage source that is volt this is 8 ohm here it is 7 ohm and 9 ohm so we have to uh, again find out the uh, currents this current okay so let us assign node voltages let us call this as V1, this as V2, okay. Now let us assign the current directions, okay. So here, let this current here be I, I dash, okay. This one be I1 dash, this current be I want to dash this current be I2 dash and this current be I3 dash okay this our objective is to find this current I3 dash flowing through the 4 ohm resistor okay here so I3 dash we have to find out so we have to solve it using nodal analysis technique so this v1 node okay at this the kcl equation is i dash is equal to i1 dash plus i12 dash okay because i dash is approaching the node i1 dash and i12 dash are flowing away from the node so i dash is 40 minus v1 by 8 that is equal to i1 dash which is v1 by 16 and i12 dash which is v1 minus v2 by 5 v1 minus v2 by 5 that implies 5, 40 by 8 is 5, which is equal to V1 by 8 minus V1 by 8 moving to RHS, right hand side, plus V1 by 16, plus V1 by 5, minus V2 by 5. Okay, here again, the LCM, the common will be 80. So it is 10 V1 plus 5 V1 plus 16 V1 minus 16 V2. This is equal to 5. That implies 31 V1 minus 16 V2 is equal to 480 into 5. This is the third equation for KCL for the second figure here. This is the third equation. Then we have to move to node V2, node voltage V2. At this node, we have to apply KCL. So here, the KCL, let's give it KCL3. This is KCL4. So here the KCL equation is I want to dash 
is equal to i2 dash plus i3 dash because i12 dash is flowing towards the node i2 dash and i3 dash are flowing away from the node so here i12 dash is v1 minus v2 by 5 and i2 dash is v2 by 6 and i3 dash is v2 by 4 okay v2 by 4 so again we have to solve it v1 by 5 minus v2 by 5 minus v2 by 6 minus v2 by 4 is equal to 0 so here again the common will be I think again 60 60 so it is 12 v1 minus 12 v2 minus 10 v2 minus 15 v2 is equal to 0 that implies 12 v1 minus 37 v2 is equal to 0 this is the fourth equation so we have to solve equation 3 and 4 so you can again use the variable cancellation method or you can go for uh, the equation mode in calculator so let us directly do that in order to save time so v1 it is coming as 15.497 volts and v2 is coming as 5.026 volts now we are interested in calculation of i3 the current flowing through this 4 ohm resistor okay here so i3 dash i3 dash okay i3 dash is v2 by 4 okay v2 which is 5.026 by 4 so i3 dash is equal to v2 by 4 which is 5.026 by 4 which is equal to it is coming One point two five six five, okay, five ampere, okay. I three dash is one point two five six five ampere. So, if you notice, this current is also one point two five six five ampere, and this current is also 1.2565 ampere here which we calculated i2 okay i2 we calculated 1.2565 ampere so both the currents are equal so we from the first from the start of this problem we uh, figured out that if both of these currents will be equal then reciprocity theorem will be verified it is valid okay so this is the fifth question related to uh, reciprocity theorem so i hope you like this videos and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much